Good evening, survivors. This is your friendly neighborhood rabid nut coming from Dino Wars in Zone 2. And this is an orchestrated rant against the new Institute Wars. So, as many of you in the zones have noticed, uh, only a handful of people uh, or zones uh, have been able to even take towers, let alone take the Institute. We've only got one uh, zone, Z4, uh, which has an SH-30. Uh, from what I've been told about the SH-30 through uh, back channels is that the SH-30 actually got the SH-30 because of a bug with that uh, King's Group had in the conversion rate uh, between the Chinese Yen and uh, the, uh, the whatever the monetary uh, means in which that uh, King's Group does their purchases through Google. So basically what it was is that he um, he actually spent, when he clicked on a $99 package, it actually only cost him $0.99. Cents. Now this is the, what I've been told. I'm not really sure about this. Uh, it really hasn't been broadcasted. Uh, and I'm, you know, that's what I'm hearing through back channels is that he actually, he was uh, spending $0.99 cents for a $99 pack up until they got it the conversion rate fixed for whatever, I'm not sure... Um, the details behind that, but uh, I've been hearing that from some back channel reliable sources that this was the case. Uh, so he's the uh, that's the only zone that's been able to um, actually uh, take the uh, the institute. Uh, as you can see, I can show you right here. I, we can kind of go through the zones. My zone, we have yet to take a tower. Uh, the biggest hit we've hit so far is around 48,000. Uh, zone 8, which has, uh, I think, two or three 26s. Uh, they've been able to take all but the last tower, and they, even with a 325,000k march, they have yet to be able to take the fourth tower to get to the point where they take Institute. So, uh, let's kind of look, let's go through the map of, of, of zones and see which ones have actually took the throne. So let's start with Zone 1. Zone 1 has no chief. And from what I remember, they, have no, they haven't took a tower. We haven't took a tower. Um, let's look at Zone 3 doesn't have a chief. Zone 4 has a chief, which is the, the, the Chinese player that I spoke about. That, uh, that uh, I don't think he intentionally used this bug, but I think it was a bug. Then he realized that, oh, I could get $99, $99 package for $0.99. Cents, and pff, I would have done that. Hey, King's Group, give me that bug, right? If I had that, dude, I'd be in SH-32 as much as I've spent on this game. Okay, so let's go to Zone 5. Zone 5 has no chief. Zone 6 has no chief. Zone 7 has no chief. Zone 8 has no chief. Zone 9 has no chief. Zone 10 has no chief. Let's see. Zone 11 has no chief. Zone 12 has no chief. Zone 13 has no chief. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So they, so there's only one uh, alliance within zone 4 that has got the throne. That is in zone 4 right here. Protected status for 7 days. I'm curious what these lines are, because as far as I can tell, it's shielded. It's in protected status for seven days, but yet I still get, see, see, keep seeing these white little lines going towards it. Not really sure how that works. Um, yeah, obviously I haven't opened up the <laughs> we haven't opened up the institutes. So I really don't know what features are allowed after that. Maybe they're attacking the dark uh, dark wrecks. So what happens if all but maybe. If 22 out of the 24 zones, it looks like zone 4 is the only one that's close, that's pretty close to getting to the point where they can take the institute and, you know, get to the dark wreck. What happens for ZVZ if only two zones can get, um, can get the institute? I mean, is it just those two zones that fight in ZVZ? Uh, obviously, you know, this definitely shows a flaw within, uh, ZVZ. Let's take a look at uh, 
Look at the full map. So as far as I know, there's only only one other zone that has actually got all but uh, one of the towers, and that's Zone Eight. Yeah, they're still they're still they're still going for the uh, for the last tower, which from what I've heard is like eighty nine thousand uh, hit points to get it. You know, obviously, you know, for the smaller zones and the newer zones. This is going to be kind of um, a killjoy. It's definitely going to be um, a, mor a morale killer. You know, you got a lot of these zones that we're, we're you know, like my own, that is uh, just hanging on for dear life to uh, to stay relevant within the game uh, because you know because of the fact that that uh, King's Rip decided to make multiple zones and just and just kind of not maintain the ones they had and not realize you know I look at this I'm sure they've got like you know statistic they can look at like each each zone and see you know what the activity is and what the spin rate is and you know the growth rate you know you would you would think uh, a company who creates you know has been at this for a while you know they've they've been they've you know they've got it they had kings of avalon they had gog they had Dino Wars. They got Z Days that just came out recently, and from what I've been looking at, the spin rates and the download rates for that have just been pitiful, incredibly pitiful. Um, and if I remember correctly, the Dino War rates have dropped dramatically. The downloads, the the, the new downloads, as well as the spin rates. Uh, from what I've also seen, Kings of Avalon spin rates and download rates have been dramatically less. They released this new feature uh, right here, Lucky Draw, which I play around with a little bit just because, just for poops and giggles, and it's just a money draw. It, it should be called Lucky Draw, it should be called Money Draw, because you spend large amounts of money to even to get to the point where you can get a decent reward, and then by the time you get a de you get to the point where you can get a decent reward, like I, you know, I put uh, I put in, you know, I did a few things, and now I need 210 of them to open up the next pack, and the next pack will be 410, 510, 610. Uh, if somebody told me to to do to do from end to end. I, I forget, I'm not going to say the name of the person, but he did the math on what it would cost you financially to get to the end, to, to, for me to get the last, you know, last three things that I wanted, or the rewards that I requested. And it's somewhere around 1,700 uh, Ambers. So if you figure an Ambers a dollar, you know, you figure, you know, for twenty dollar pack, you get about twenty of them. So it takes about twenty dollars to get uh, twenty ambers. So that's a dollar a piece. So it would take seventeen hundred dollars to get the full rewards. Does that not sound ridiculous to you? We're already spending god awful amounts of money on upgrading uh, superchargers and chips and buying armor. You know, spending you know to keep to keep relevant. And now you're going to throw this little, little shitty draw, is what I'm going to call it, shitty draw. It's basically a money drop. And they're not doing the things that's going to help this game grow. They're trying to get as much financial gains before this, you know, you know unfortunately, before this game goes kapooey. You know, Koa had a great run. But it's starting to fail. It, they're one of their biggest, uh, you know, money grabs. Uh, they just they they learn on certain things, but some things are just so ingrained in their psyche. You know, okay, we're having lesser people are spending less money. Uh, we're getting less download rates. So now we're going to create events and things to get more money without fixing the problems that are within the game. Uh, number one, Institute War. The power level, the amount of hit points needs to be equivalent to the size of the zone. Not a, not a one, set, one size fits all. Number two, they need to respec uh, expedition uh, trials so that it, um, 
there are no more stamina requirements because right now we've got Monster Arena, which requires uh, New Dawn tags, which requires stamina, you know, to get to to kill uh, New Dawn uh, camps. Then we've got you. Know, then you've got your you were doing you know uh, a diamond event every week. All right, so you know the fact that we, you know you need stamina for new for new dawn tags for monster arena, and you need monster stam stamina to attack monsters to get you know to to get leveled up, get your rank up in in diamond event. And then they sent this email out. Let's go back. Kill us, Dage. So as the institute war began, the tension in our zone is heating up. From zone, uh, from August twenty seventh. The kill stage of the diamond event will change from every Friday to every Friday and to hold on. Diamond event will change to every Friday to Sunday. So I'm guessing instead of Fridays, it'll be Sundays. I don't really understand the correlation between what that means, but okay. So definitely, need, they definitely need to respec Institute Wars. You know, at this rate, we're not going to make it to ZVZ. We're probably don't want to be participants. There's a good chance, you know, if they don't do something to revitalize the zones, the many, many zones that are having such inactivity problems and such growth problems, not to mention the fact that the, that the, the resource requirements as well as the steel requirements required to upgrade uh, uh, you know, a decent strong, uh, HQ are ridiculous, and then you combine that all with the fact that the the build rates, the build rates, are ridiculous. Okay, a 24 wall takes 69 days, right? About 45 of them spec'd out on talents, and use and use and use and use that. You throw the labor equipment on there, that might knock it down a couple of weeks, but you're still looking at a lot of time. Where when in GOG an HQ30 wall takes around 30 days. And doesn't require steel. Doesn't it requires food and you know some requirements, but you know, you combine the steel requirement and the fact that steel is one of those items you either gotta spend diamonds on or you gotta manufacture at an incredibly slow rate. Come on guys. You want these zones to grow. You want this, these zones to be proud, to be successful, so that you can be successful. It's a correlation. You got to work with us. You got to help us out. Because I know you spent a substantial amount of money develop in development and all that, and you want to make money. That's fine. But make things that are worth spending on. Ambers are not worth spending on. It's just another money grab attempt. It's going back to the same old, same old that killed Kings of Avalon. Please, guys, listen to the words I'm saying. So I'm making a ploy. I want Kings Group to do better. They've done a lot of great things. They've, you know, they've changed the environment a lot, but they're still going back to the same old, same old. The money grab events. Knock them out. You know, I'm really starting to sound like revenge. <laughs> revenge gamer, I really am. And I see how, you know, in his first videos, he started out hopeful and loving it and having so much fun. And by the end, he was dark and brooding, a broody. Okay, is there anything else I want to talk about? Well, guys, I, I've ranted and raved enough. You know, I, I really try to stay positive, but I'm really losing faith in, in King's Group. You know, I, I've had people from within King's Group's 
outer circle, be like, hey, you know, things are di- we're going to be different now. You know, uh, this is a whole different platform. You know, they really have a different mindset in this development group, you know. But, you know, I, I'm, I'm starting to see that, you know, that's wishful thinking. It's sad, you know. We line their pockets and they don't even give us anything entertaining. It's, I will say one positive thing. I do like the new labor equipment. I have only got one piece of it so far, uh, which I got in the lucky, in the lucky draw. I got that right there. I got the, the fragments for that right there. Yay. Oh, me. Well, guys. You know, just have fun. I'm, I'm not warning you against this game. You know, it can be a lot of fun, but you got to be willing to, uh, you know, to make some compromises within your life. You know, and if you can freely spend, and you know you feel like you're getting something out of it, go for it. That's what I'm saying. You know, it's starting to get to the point for me that, uh, you know, it's. Throwing my cash, you know, throwing my credit cards into a, into a bonfire and watching them go poof. I mean, if you feel the same way, you'll like my, you'll like this video. If you, you know, if you really, if you're late, you know, send me comments, so, uh, message me on uh, Discord, you know, Rabid Nut. Yeah, you know, anybody that's that frequents uh, uh, Discord definitely knows of me and has communicated with me. Uh, if the, you know, if I, you think I'm dead wrong, tell me about it. If you like it, subscribe, like, and comment. All right, guys. Survivors beware, and I hope to God I will be around to see you on the battlefield. All right, guys. I'm out.